Okay, part two. Part two of this week's single dad email that I got from um, members' responses and inquiries. This one um, member goes by Eddie, and Eddie has a problem. So Eddie is uh, 41 years old. He's been divorced for about five years, and he has uh, two small daughters, ages 9 and 11. So Eddie's writing it to me, and he's writing this question out to all of you, but I'm going to answer it, of course. And, and again, the single dad... Uh, singledad.com is happy to answer any questions you send out here regarding your parenting issues, your co-parenting issues, you know, relationship with your ex, newly divorced transition advice, all that stuff is covered on Single Dad. And of course, you can send me an email directly to info at singledad.com. So this second email from Eddie here, he says, Dear RJ, I'm 41 years old, have two daughters, nine, I'm sorry, nine and 11. He has a nine and 11, um, nine and 11 daughter. Two daughters. So, he's been dating this girl for about two years. He has a girlfriend, okay? And the girlfriend's name is Kelly. So anyways, Eddie and Kelly have been going out for a while. Kelly's a single mom. Eddie's a single dad. His question to me is this. Dear RJ, is it unusual for a single parent dad not to have a girlfriend stay over on nights when he's with his kids? The question I have is, my girlfriend Kelly says it's okay in her household. Is it okay if I don't want her to stay overnight at my household while my kids are here? This is what it's saying. He's like, so here's the dilemma Eddie's up against, and it's very common. When you're single, you're single. When you're a single parent and you're with your kids, you got to have your own household rules. Everyone has different household rules. Every single parent is different. What's important to communicate Eddie, to Kelly, is your household rules. Your household rules, if you're not comfortable with having an overnight guest while your daughters are there with you, and it looks like you're saying that, uh, you know, your feelings of setting a bad example or, you know, giving the kids the wrong impression, I don't want to go there and I don't want to know what is the status of the relationship and how solid it is. But most importantly here is what I'm hearing is that you've got two single parents. One having a different rule than the other. The key is communicating that everybody has different rules. And having different rules doesn't make somebody wrong. It doesn't make somebody right. It just means you're different. So my single dad advice to you, Eddie, is to explain to your girlfriend in a way that you can just say, I respect you. I respect your rules in your household. These are my rules. And I would really appreciate if you understood and respect those rules. And here's what they are. Point out that you don't want an overnight guest because how you feel. If you feel it's setting a bad example towards your two daughters, then say it. But the most important thing is make sure you tell her in the same context of saying, nobody's right, nobody's wrong, everyone has different rules. These are my rules on how I feel. This is how I'm feeling about setting the rules in my household. I'm sure Kelly will understand, and if anything, it opens up a whole new conversation about sleepovers. You know, from one single parent to another, I can relate to that because I think the most important rule is you just don't want to set the wrong impression to your children, and you never know where that relationship is going. So you never know about the future sleepovers, and it just gets too complicated. So when you're a single dad and you don't have your children, go at it. Have as many, have a lot of sleepovers. But when you're with your family and you feel comfortable or uncomfortable, set the rules, set the precedent, but be consistent. That's what I will say. Be consistent. Because you don't want to set the wrong, you don't want to send inconsistencies to your girlfriend and saying one night yes, one night no. And if you feel that way, just say what you feel. Most importantly is let your emotions and let your feelings be known. And of course, honor and respect another person's emotions. Make sure the conversation is not hurtful and, and attacking. Just make sure you're explaining your feelings first. And I bet you, you'll probably have some great results. Any other questions, you are welcome to send more, as well as anyone else out there that has a parenting issue, co-parenting issue, newly divorced transition issue. Send your email to info at singledad.com. That's I-N-F-O at singledad.com. Thank you.